Peak lives in Liverpool and developed his look away from the London club scene. We came out of Liverpool and I don't know what happened, but because I suppose I was vaguely glamorous, I wasn't associated with the Liverpool scene anymore. I was a contender for the pop field and going into mainstream success, as I say, after, after being in Liverpool and working on that indie scene was really horrific. You were actually starting to have a sound that was very, very a dead or alive sound. And the sound that obviously was going to be copied. Um, we didn't think it would be copied because we didn't think that many people could cope with, with manufacturing that kind of sound because it is a very intricately manufactured sound. It's a lot of contradicting elements and they're all mixed up too high and it, it's a very hard sound. Um, we didn't think other bands would feel um, confident about going out with a sound like that, but due to our success they all did. Well, uh, I'm very good friends with Pete Burns and I'm good friends with uh, Lloyd Cole. So there are two people, I think, who are obviously quite extreme characters. <laughs> it's constantly living on the edge, really, and of course, getting things as boring as your home, you, I mean, your neighbours go a bit cocky around you if you're living in a flat and everything, they just expect people a lot like this to be into, you know, shagging dogs and things, I don't know if you'd probably believe that, and, you know, uh, dancing around fires at midnight naked. People have a, your average everyday person has a very warped view of what your appearance actually represents. They can't believe that you just are quite a normal everyday person. And I've got a strong personality that if the whole world told me it was a crime to look like this, I'd still stay the same. Nobody can budge me on anything. If, you, if you've got self-belief, and you don't really, you're not that impressed with what other people think. I mean, that, that's the only message it's got, you know, just please yourself. I you think it's getting, it's more and more difficult to shock people, even with the way you look, because everyone's so used to things that are shocking in inverted commas that, that it's hard to think of something new. I don't think the aim is really to shock people. It's, um, it's accompanying your visual statement with a suitable persona, really. Together they would hang out on the club scene in Liverpool and it wasn't long before Pete got noticed. Well in fact as you and I both know and most of your fans that you were you were dressing like this in fact even more outrageously even up to about ten years ago. get no credit whatsoever, it just disheartens me because the only thing I ever wanted credit for was the music. I never wanted credit for being a wonderful person or a, or a great human being or, or looking peculiar. I just wanted credit for the music, but yet, yet again that's snatched away from us. Pete has been a fashion icon for over 20 years. It was his good looks and flamboyant style that propelled him to stardom. The Sex Pistols came to town and I met them and the promoter of the club, Roger Eagle, came to me and he said, uh, you have a great time in my club position so you get a band and you never come in it. I went, what? He went, unless you sing, you never come in it. I was like, I can't sing. He said, you better learn to because you look so great.
CEOs, honey. You want to flop them out? <laughs> or unroll them? <laughs>